I'm surprised about that Oasis thing. Because Liam Gallagher um, has said some uh, bad things about, like, Noel and Noel's, like, I don't know, daughter or daughters and all that. Um, remember Noel Gallagher saying in some interview, um, and I don't know how he gets away with it. You know, he's sort of harassing us and, like, leaving his fucking uh, like voicemail sort of things. He, he said something like, if Liam was just, like, a... Like, wasn't he like some sort of fucking rock star but worked in a garage or something? You know, you're, you're some uncle that worked in a garage, you'd be arrested. That's what Noel Gallico was saying. Um, for this kind of harassment. So it's not like they've just went like that. No shite. Liam shite. They brought, like, fucking family members into it and things like that. Um... Liam is a prick, but no one needs the money. Aye, that's what Lynn said this morning. She said that uh, Liam's doing all right. She thinks it's Noel's idea because Liam's doing all right, but Noel isn't he? I thought, really? I thought, I suppose if you, if you want the next best thing, Oasis, you'll probably want to go and see uh, the singer, the main singer. But no wrote the songs. He'll be the one cashing in, surely. But um I what is it? It's like four nights in Manchester, some park, three nights at Wembley, two at Murrayfield in Edinburgh, two somewhere in Ireland, probably Dublin. And maybe there's a, a couple other ones I can't remember, but um and that's just for starters. I'm assuming that and two in Cardiff. I'm assuming They'll sell them out and then go, right, there's more dates. I wonder what the situation is between them. Like, just, right, we need separate this, separate that. You come on the stage that way, I come on the stage that way. Don't talk to me. Or if they're like, or if they went like that, let's just, let's just fucking forget all that, right? But it'd be good to have the money, wouldn't it? I would... I hope I hope the Oasis tickets are a fucking fortune. They will be. I hope they're eye watering. Five hundred quid easily. Wait a minute. How much do you think it'll be like, say, for Murrayfield Stadium? So obviously it's got to be fucking standing. So it's got to be the seats up the back, but uh, or Wembley. Like you just get in. Just to get in that fucking front door. 120 quid. 120. Really? You think about 120? Easy 80 quid. 150? Blubber 75. About 150. Oh, quid. They'll never make it to Murrayfield. How no squiffs? Jake the Wem. Um, break up. I'm, I, 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 as I tweeted this morning, here's what I'm predicting. This is it. This is it. I don't know what. But I, I, I just want to say that um, these. <sighs> this. But I. I've got to see it because I've said it before. But I, I, I just want to... I said before, these pop stars that are dead, anti-drugs, uh, anti him, uh, Prince, because they never really got, you know, got out of their system at a kind of earlier age, they ended up succumbing to it in some fancy fucking doctor way. Then again, Whitney Houston, she was no newcomer to it. 
Um, Amy Winehouse, the pop, it doesn't matter. I know that was booze, but anyway, I Jim Morrison. I so forget it. Forget what I said. It felt it felt like I made sense there for a good five seconds. 